G'day Aquarius, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Mm. One week till Christmas. Woohoo! And two weeks till the end of the year. Wow. Everything. Oh! Extra card came out then, and it's gone on the floor. Will I pick it up? Yes, I better pick it up. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Clarify card one. Please. <laughs> so this is a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Cross watches. Ooh. Okay. Lots of cards there. Clarify card two. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind. You may not be the only one thinking about Aquarius right now. Clarify card three, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested in what these decks are. Of course, the very last deck that I use, the handwritten messages, is not listed because it's just a plain deck that I've written on. Three more cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Well, okay. We don't need them, because we've got our three. One, two, three. Okay, get the clarifiers, and then we'll start. Clarify card one in row two, please. Hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, spoiling yourselves. Hope you got yourself something nice for Christmas. Nice Chrissy Prezzy. <laughs> Clarify card two in row two, please. If you don't believe in Christmas, or follow the Christmas... I hope you're getting yourself something nice anyway. Clarify card three in row two, please. But I'd say most of you would follow Christmas. Well, yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's begin, Aquarius. Cash on! Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Woohoo! Someone's very passionate about you, Aquarius. Oh, the Five of Swords. The Hermit. The Empress. And the King of Swords, which is your energy, male or female. They're using passion to manipulate you. Mind games manipulation. This energy is single as can be. No intention of settling with anyone. It's manipulation. They're single. It's all about their own self. They want to grow something. They want you to grow something for them. That's the manipulation here. They're going to use passion as a manipulation tool for themselves to get an abundance grown for them by you. Oh, Aquarius. Ah. <sighs> Bugger. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Oh, King of Coins. Page of Cups. King of Cups. Wow. And the Tower. Wow. Wow. They want you to get to know them. 
They want you revealing your innermost selves to each other. They want you to expose yourself. Well, they let you know that, oh, I'm stable and grounded and want commitment. Oh, beautiful messages of love and, oh, I'm emotionally mature. And then the, it's all going to blow up in your face. And they're going to rip it all down. Oh, yeah. See, they want you to get to know this illusion that, that is going to all just crumble. This is how they're going to do it. Oh, why do people do this? <sighs> so annoying. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Maybe somebody who is stable and grounded that does speak of emotion, that is emotionally mature, is just going to pop up out of nowhere. Just appear out of nowhere and want to get to know you. Is this passion one? Yeah, no, nah, it's mind games. Playing mind games with you. Soulmate. Oh, no, nah, the Ten of Wands. The star card, that's your card. And the four of coins. See, no, they, they, I was right the first time. They want, to, they want you to get to know an illusion. Something that's going to come crashing down. Because it's not real. They're going to make out there's something that they're not. And then they're going to use that passion to manipulate you. To get you to grow stuff for them. <sighs> yeah, because soulmate, well, they see it as you as a burden. And they're going to be holding back from any soulmate connection. They see, hang, yeah, all doing all this with you and all oh, this. This is how, why they're going to use passion. Because... As you get to know them, the illusion of what they appear to be it was going to come crashing down. But they're going to try and manipulate you with passion and mind games. And I feel that your head is going to be stuck um, seeing this as bars, like trapping your mind. Mm, I don't like that. I haven't seen that before in that card. And I don't like it. Maple Spirit Generosity. And that's what they want from you. You to be generous. Yeah, the Hierophant. And the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, because their belief systems are that you are their ticket to the Wheel of Fortune. You're going to be generous. They believe that you can, yeah. The wheel's going to turn in their, their favour with your generosity. Through your generosity. You be, being an empress and creating a beautiful empire for them. Because they're going to manipulate you. <clears throat> Butterfly spirit transformation. No, it's a death card. Oh, the Queen of Wands. Wow. Yeah, the love of passion. The love of the passionate action. See, Queen of Wands isn't necessarily married or com of any sort of commitment to the King of Wands. They can be definitely single. She loves passion. She can be very, well, she's confident, she's sexy, she's beautiful, she's independent, <sighs> loves the passion, goes after what she wants, uh, yeah, can be the other woman, male or female, you know, the other person, Queen of Wands is the other woman, the mistress.
Yeah, I think they're going to transform into someone who's all about them, their own independence and is just in it for the passion. Hmm. Not getting anything else off here, so yeah. Standing stones, passage. They see you as a passageway towards something. Seven of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Page of Swords. Two of Wands. And the Nine of Cups. I told you. Yeah. Investing in the situation or investing in a relationship is not anything that they're looking at choosing to do. They're getting information out of you. Possibly spying on you. I just heard they're very limited in their in intelligence as far as maturity goes. Yeah. When it comes to truth and honesty, they've been thrown, yeah, completely immature. <sighs> they're gathering information out of you. Because they're not choosing to take any action. It's within this, yeah, for this situation. They may give you little bits of... I think if you confront them with the question of making the choice here, they're going to just look at you with this dumb look on their face, like this, like this blank stare of like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. No, or just meh, like a non-committal answer, because they're not going to choose to make a choice about investing in this. This is just the passageway towards their own emotional fulfillment here so they'll, they're not going to choose to take any action here misleading information yeah very immature information is what they'll give you because they're not going to not going to take any action here It's going to sit there reading their book. Ignoring you, any questions you have. Giving you very little information, very little truth. Because it's all about their own, that's, their own emotional fulfillment is the, the, ro the road they're leaning down. That's not anything for you. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Aquarius. Really. This is just a dirt bag. Dodgy ass. Alright. Yeah, they're not available. And make sure you're not available to this one. Uh, what does this energy want to say to Aquarius, please? Oh, they've got a lot to say. It's the most amount of cards I've had come out in the whole 12 readings. Yeah, because they've got to lay it on thick, don't they? Oh, I only want to be with you. See, I told you, the mind games, manipulation, they're going to just lie through their teeth. Oh, I love your smile. Well, you've got a beautiful smile, Aquarius, but yeah. <laughs> you are so hot. Yep. See? And I look at your pictures a lot. See, they're just going to flatter you. Look, at this is, uh, like I said, this is the most cards that have come out. They're going to lay it on thick. Lay that on thick to manipulate you. The passion. You're so hot. Look at your pictures all the time. Oh, I love your smile. Oh, I only want to be with you. Like, really? Really? This is a bit too thick, mate. A bit too much. Three would be enough. 
Two would be enough. But no, they're going for the four. As thick as they can lay it on. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, just beware of this one, Aquarius. Believe me, you do not want this energy around you. They'll nick all your Chrissy Prezzies and... No, bugger that. No one's nicking your Chrissy Prezzies. They can boot off. All right. <laughs> well, that's your reading. Oh, by the way, um, next week's reading that will come out in seven days' time would have been on Christmas Day Australia time. So, no, it's not happening then. It's going to happen the Friday before Australia time. So, yes, I've got an extra day. I'm getting home this week so I can come home and do some readings for you for early Chrissy Prezzy. So, woo, yay! <laughs> and, yeah, so I can I can have a Christmas as well. But so you don't miss out on a reading. And then I'll be back 1st of January, Australia time, because that will be the following Monday. You'll get your readings then, so... Back to normal. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to have Christmas. But I didn't want you to miss out on a reading either. So yeah, I'll be doing, look out for it on Friday. Well, Australia time Friday. Because right now, when you're what, when this is coming out for you, it's Australia, day, Australia time Monday. So yes. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. All the, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That would be awesome. I really appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay then. All right. Well, all the best. Take care. Good luck. Avoid this. Definitely. Yeah, nah. All right. If they're laying it on too thick, you know, that, yeah, it's red flag, red flag. <laughs> Okay? Alright. All the best. Take care. Good luck, and I'll catch you later.